Hey, this is Mark, and today I've got an iPhone 6 Plus that was sent in for touch disease, and it also was not charging and was not fully booting up. So I've already replaced the touch ICs, um, so now I'm going to try and address the charging issue, and I'm not entirely sure about the booting problem. When I've tested it, um, it boots up with the Apple logo and then pretty quickly just uh, goes to black screen with backlight and then turns off and restarts. Um, so that that's kind of weird and I'm not sure that changing TriStar is going to solve that. I, that seems like at least what I've seen in the past, that that's going to be a uh, software corruption and this is going to re require a restore to work again. Um, and I may have to stop in the middle of this video uh, to take care of the baby. But you go ahead and change Tristar and see how this goes. It is about 1 a.m. and wife's been asleep for a while now and I've been watching the sleeping baby Fiona. Now she is up. She's going to be hungry soon. But I think I can knock this one out before she gets too hungry. Turn my air up just a little bit. I meant to do that before I got started here. I don't know if you can, if the mic's picking that up in the background, but she is she's back there growling. That's her thing. Ah, that's her happy noise. I finally got the cameras almost set up the way I want them. Got a decent microscope feed now, but I still would like to get something on my USB amp meter so I can show when a device is charging after a repair, but this little webcam here won't focus on it. I hear you, Fiona. You got lots of stuff to say over there. <laughs> she does this all the time. This is like her baby talk is just <laughs> sounds like a wookie.
definitely going into the getting frustrated phase. I'm gonna have to wrap this up here. There we go. That tristar is good. Let's see if the pacifier will work. if this is going to charge and boot up. Uh, charging current at about 400 milliamps, which I'm not sure. If this battery is 100% charged, then that may be acceptable. But we still got the boot looping. So... That's no good. I'm going to try and see if I can get it to boot up and sit in a recovery mode. Usually if, if I can get it to boot up and sit in recovery mode and charge, then everything is actually fine at the board level and it just needs, uh, just needs a restore to finish. So yep, sitting in recovery and still charging at around 400 milliamps. Um, let's see. Let me check this battery and see what voltage we're at. All right, this one's about 3.7, so this should, this board should, um, well, this battery should take a charge. I think this, the one I'm using might already be at 100%, which um, is not a good indicator of whether or not charging is working. All right, Fiona, we're almost done here, baby. And then you can eat, I promise. Almost done, baby. <laughs> yeah, she's starting to get angry. All right. Just got to get this back in recovery mode and see if it's charging. Not charged up enough to boot. Well, I guess it is. Prove me wrong. All right. Disconnect the battery. Try this again. Yeah, I can already see it's charging at about one and a half amps. So that is perfect. Um, it just needs a software restore and it'll be done. All right, I'm going to end this one and take care of this crime baby. Thanks for watching.